My name is Nicole. I'm 31 years old, and I am addicted to pony play. Okay, quick trot, quick trot. Good pony. Oh, that's a pony. Yes. Pony play is a form of costumed role play. You become an animal mentally and act accordingly. Okay, Drafter. Where would you go? Drafter is my pony play character. <laughs> Drafter is a very hardworking horse and really enjoys praise and treats. Being a pony is amazing. For me, this is probably the biggest source of happiness in my life. It is definitely odd to see my daughter dressed up as a horse. If a person wants to dress up like an animal, that is weird. <laughs> Nice pony. Grooming is definitely one of my favorite things to have done. And then when you're done with grooming, you do whatever training you're going to do, teaching different things. So pulling a cart is a labor of love. Even though there's a lot of different things that I like in pony play, carting is definitely my favorite. Good girl. What can I help you find today? I was looking for a long shank, mullen mouth style western bit. How big is the horse's mouth, do you know? About this size. I'm doing uh, something called pony play, and I'm looking for a authentic prop that I can use that will be play with quality. OK, so I'm going to look for a mullen mouth per bit that is going to fit you. Correct. what other people think, that doesn't bother me. You know, this, this is who I am. Accept me or don't, but I'm not changing for anyone. I could not imagine life without pony play in it. I love my addiction to pony play more than flies love crap. <laughs> Pony play allows me to indulge in the pretend play that all of us came to know and love as a child, and it's kind of taboo as an adult. Wow. When Nicole came around the corner, I was thinking, holy cow, holy horse. I thought it looked pretty ridiculous. You know, I'm into role play. This is basically just the next step in the evolution for me. Wow. I just wanted you to be aware that this is kind of what I do, and it's part of my life. It's like looking at the Joker. Wow. <laughs> when I'm actually engaging in it, I wear a bit as well. And these are real stainless steel bits that are designed for horses. This is like a <laughs> mind bend. Wow. <laughs> I probably will need your help a little bit getting this on. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm going to have to move your mane. This looks painful. Looks like a torture chamber, Nicole. <laughs> so now what? I'll tell you a different gait. The Spanish fork, which is a high step, like this. Um, there's also a trot. Which is basically just, uh, just seems very unnatural. You know, when it's in your face, it's just really unnatural. Do you worry about what people think? Somebody says I'm strange or I'm a freak. You know what? Give, give me a big banner or a flag that I can fly, you know? Yeah, I'm not a, a drone that came out of a cookie cutter. Go me. <laughs>
I know you beat to your own drum, what, you know? So do what you do. Don't get that goo on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I could not imagine life without pony play in it. It's pure joy, pure enjoyment. I still have some concerns about pony play. I want to see the best for Nicole. I'm not sure that this is it. I worry that this could come back and haunt you. I just want you to look at the whole picture. And I wonder if you might think about uh, speaking with a therapist. Come on in, have a seat. Thank you. So what brings you here? What can I do for you? I engage in an activity called pony play. It's a form of costumed role play. Um, that's live action, so I would dress up like a horse. Mm -hmm. uh, this, for example, is my bridle. Uh, this is the pulling harness, mm -hmm. and as you can see, it's very heavy-duty leather. I think a lot of your everyday people, they assume it must be a kink, it must be a fetish. In my case, that's not at all uh, correct or, or relevant to what I do. Okay. So, you know, there's people that have different tolerance for different things, and it's something that some people are not going to like. But so, you can't please everybody. Exactly. You can't please everybody. I guess the question is, can I accept the fact that some people are not going to be okay with this? Part of me wants to say, you know, well, who are you to judge me? You don't know me. You don't know anything about me. Uh-huh that you need to be able to say, gosh, if I want to move on in life, this is something that I'm gonna have to kind of take a look at. I feel like she actually opened my eyes to some things that I wasn't really thinking about before. But the passion that I have for pony play is not diminished, not, not even a little. There's no way I would ever give up pony play, not a snowball's chance. <laughs>